Hello Highland Lacrosse Athletes. This video is designed to help you with an IXL assignment. Um, specifically, we're going to be taking a look at assignment C1, the first one for the summer called Integer Addition Rules. So to get to that IXL assignment, first thing you're going to need to do is sign into IXL. If you don't know your username for IXL, that should be contained in the syllabus. But once you're signed into IXL, you want to make sure that you're in 7th grade math, like you can see me highlighting here. And if you scroll down, you should see gold stars next to cluster C, all the ones that are the letter C. So we're taking a look at C1, the very first one. And while that loads up, we're going to have a quick 30 second discussion about some of the rules for addition. As you see, the first four or five assignments are all about our rules for addition with integers. And an integer is any whole number that can be positive or negative. So they could really almost call this our addition rules for negative numbers because that's our big new focus here is how do we handle addition when negative numbers are involved. So again, anytime they use this word integer right here, part of the assignment title, they mean numbers that are whole numbers, but they could be positive or they could be negative. So we're going to focus on how do we add when there are negative whole numbers involved. I put up a few notes right here. There's three basic scenarios you can come up with when you're adding integers. You could be adding two positive numbers together. That's what this first note shows you, positive plus positive. And whenever you do that, they're just going to combine to make a larger positive number. This is something pretty familiar to you. If I had 3 plus 5, it's going to make positive 8. Another one, and I need to fix these notes, if I add two negative numbers together, if I do something like a negative plus a negative, if I were to combine negative 3 plus a negative 5, that's going to give me a negative 8. Whenever I combine or add up two negative numbers, it's almost like adding two positive numbers, except it's all happening on the negative side, so you're going to get a negative answer. And then the last possibility is you could be adding or combining numbers where one of them is positive and one of them is negative. And in that case, I like to think of that as something as the numbers are kind of fighting against each other. And ultimately, they're going to cancel each other out. Each positive unit will cancel out a negative one. And whoever has the larger absolute value is going to win. What do we mean by that? If I did 3 plus negative 5, this is a positive combined with a negative. The negative 5 has a greater absolute value. There are 5 negative units and only 3 positive units. So ultimately when they cancel out, there will still be 2 negative units left over or they're going to make negative 2. But if the 3 were the negative value, if I were doing something like negative 3 plus a positive 5, then in this case 5 minus 3 is going to give me positive 2. The bigger absolute value of the 5 cancels out the negative 3. So for assignment C1, the integer addition rule, the big thing that they're going to ask you to do is they're going to just ask you when you combine two numbers, two integers, do they make a positive or a negative result? Here for our first example we see is negative 52 plus 38 positive or negative. This is an example of a negative number plus a positive number. And the negative 52 has a greater absolute value. There's more negative units than positive units where there's only 38 of those positive ones. So the negative value is going to win out. The next example, they say, is 6 plus negative 5 going to be positive or negative? So here I'm again adding two numbers. One of them is positive. I'm adding a positive 6 added with a negative 5. This is very similar. It's really the same thing as saying 6 minus 5 whenever you add a negative number. It's very much the same thing. Let's go ahead and add that in here for a second. 6 plus negative 5 is really the same thing. Adding a negative is just like subtracting. So 6 minus 5 is positive 1. This is also going to be positive 1. Got to make sure I pick an answer. There we go. Alright, the next one says, is negative 58 plus negative 87 going to be positive or negative? And this is an example of we're adding or combining two negative numbers. We're combining the negative 58, adding it up with the negative 87. 
And whenever I combine two negative numbers, they're just going to make combine to make something that's even more negative. So in this case, I'm going to get something that's way in the negative. It's going to be way past negative 100 when I combine those. The next one up is negative 4 plus negative 66 positive or negative. Again, this is an example right here of our scenario where we're using a negative number added with another negative number. So they're going to combine if 4 plus 66 is 70, then this negative 4 plus negative 66 is going to give us negative number negative 70. That's pretty much what this whole assignment does. It's really applying these three rules. If you combine or add up two negative numbers, they just go and make a number that's more negative. The tricky situation is when I combine or add up one positive with one negative, like this scenario shows me. And here there's more negatives, nine negative numbers combined with eight positive numbers. So the negative is just barely going to win out. It's going to make a negative one. We'll show one last example. This is the first example, something you would have done in a bunch of prior grades. If I just add up two positive numbers, they get larger. They stay on the positive side. This would make 52 it ultimately. All right, I'm going to stop the video there. If you need any help with this, you can always feel free to send me an email. My email address, which I'm putting it on the screen, is ddoherty3 at bostonpublicschools.org. So again, if you need any help, please always feel free to email me, ddoherty3 at bostonpublicschools.org. Thanks for working and keeping, keeping on learning in the middle of the summer. Um, I think it's great that some of you are signing on to IXL and learning with us.